Hey guys, um, so today I am going to be doing a February favorites, and I'm so sorry that I haven't been um, keeping it on track with my videos. Uh, it's been crazy. I know. I I should be better about it, but um, I, hopefully this time I will be a lot better about it. Um, so let's just get started. Um, the first thing I have is my NYX HD concealer, and it's the green one, and I saw mm -hmm. that, um, here on YouTube that, um, some girls were using a green one, and I was like, ooh, that's kind of interesting, I want to try that, and so I did, and all my red blemishes and everything, you like, you cannot see it through my foundation, it's like, magic I don't know it's like better than just like regular concealer so this is really great stuff and it's just kind of like a lip gloss or whatever and it is like really really good to use I use it over um not over under my foundation and it just it b makes my um foundation and my skin look better um, when I wear makeup. So I I really like this. And then I got um, this um, blush. It's a stick blush. Um, and it's the Maybelline New York Master Glaze by Face Studio. And it's in color Coral Sheen. And that's what it looks like. And this looks like really orangey, but it actually looks really nice on the skin. I'll swatch it for you. That's what it looks like. And it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And it looks so nice on the cheek. I like, I start here and then put it up to my temples and then just blend it out really nicely. And it gives me just this really good, healthy glow. And it's just amazing product. So I would go and check that out. Um, now I have the, uh, Maybelline New York Color Tattoo by Eye Studio, and it is, um, bad to the bronze. So, this is what it looks like, and that's the color. I'll swatch it for you. And when I'm doing, like, an eye look like this, where it's kind of, like, bronzy and, like, neutral colors... Um, I put this on, um, under it, under all the shadows, and it just gives it a nice, um, nice color to my eye. It makes the color, the shadows more vibrant, and it's just a very beautiful, um, product to use. And then I have, I think I've mentioned this before in favorites, but... I use it every single day, and I've had it for, well, I don't use it every single day, but every time I wear makeup, I wear this. Um, it's the Jordana Febuliner in black. That's what it looks like. And I'll swatch it for you. That's the line. And it is just like, I use it on my upper lash line um, every time I wear makeup, and it just makes my eyes pop so much. It just makes them look bigger and brighter and um, I haven't been putting any um, eyeliner on my lower lash line for like oh a year or two now um, and it I've just I've seen where my eyes just pop more and I really like it. And then I have the Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub. Um, I bought this, um, in June, I think, of 2013, and I don't use it very often, um, that's m how much I've used so far, and it's, like, it's really good, um, and it tastes really good, too, I really like it, and it smells wonderful, too, <sighs> yeah, it smells wonderful, and, um, it's just really good to make the dead skin come off your lips and it makes them soft. And then after I put this on, I follow up with um, the Blix, Blistex, the medicated one. Um, 
And this is a favorite of this month, too. This, oh my gosh, I love this stuff. This is what makes my lips so soft and not dry. And it has, like, this nice clean smell to it. And it, like, has a burning sensation on your lips if you're, like, not used to it. Um, but I'm kind of used to it, but I still kind of feel the burn, but I like it. Um, if... It feels like it's working and it feels really good on the lips and plus you can like layer it like a lot and so you can just gallons on your lips and it's it's really good and the next one I have um, is a perfume it's the be delicious most of you probably know this one. Oh my god it smells so good and this is the cutest bottle ever this is the cutest perfume I have and I just I just love it and it smells so good I can't stop smelling it it smells so good you know when it smells so good when the baby keeps on getting into it you know it smells good and then the last favorite I have is my curling iron. And it's the Remington um, curling iron. I don't know, like, what else they call it. I don't remember. I got it back, like, when I was, like, 14. And I've only, like, used it a few times and um, ever until recently. I started using it a lot because I had a job interview. So I was like, oh, I should curl my hair. And so after that, I've been curling my hair a lot more. And it just gives me these nice, bouncy, fun curls. Um, I've worn these all day, so they're not as good as they looked at first. But um, this is a really good curling iron. And it's the one inch. And then it kind of goes to like a half inch. Um, so it's really, really good. I, I really, really like it. Alright, so I think that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And go follow me on Twitter. And go watch my um, last video. And all of that will be down in the down bar. And give this um, video a thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Oh, and by the way... Um, today I am wearing pink and purple, if you can see. Um, I'm wearing pink and purple for Haley Owens. If you don't, um, know about what happened to Haley Owens, she was a 10-year-old girl who got kidnapped and then she was killed here, um, in my home state. So, um, I... I am like northern of the state and she's southern, but um, she's still part of my home state and I feel very deeply for her and her family. So um, I am um, having a remembrance day for her by wearing pink and purple um, because those were like her favorite colors. So. Um, I would appreciate if you would go down in the down bar and write something um, nice um, about her for her family and I will send this to her family. Um, I thank you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!